Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Virtual Little Theater Monday Night Show again. I'm Maria Gillard, and um, I'm here tonight with my friend Paul Switek. And uh, Paul, can you say hi? Good evening, everybody. Great to be here. All Great right. to give it a try. Yeah, we're doing this each from our own houses, so we're going to do the best we can. And... Um, uh, we're going to play some folk songs, maybe some originals, just go back and forth with a swap. And uh, Paul and I have known each other for a long time. We used to be in a band together back in the 90s called the Black Turtle Band with <laughs> other people. He's laughing. It was a funny band. It certainly was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Paul was the leader, even though he never said he was. He really was. <laughs> well, the leader, the leader actually found some cassette tapes a month ago in my quarantine oh. with lack of better things to do. I actually found our cassette demo tape, which was better. Than, it was pretty good. Oh, wow. Better than I remember. Yeah. And what was the Sioux, the Sioux City Shuffle on that? No. Remember that song <laughs> yeah. you wrote? <laughs> yeah, I wonder what was even on it. Well, we did a lot of folk songs. We had some harmony going. We had uh, three guys and two girls. It's pretty fun. Anyway, this is us tonight. And uh, I'm going to start out with a song called Wish I Could Find You. Take a left at the light and a right at the corner store. We'll go down that road seven miles or so. There along the bend is a stand of pines. That's where I left my heart so long ago. It was you and that song that's awesome oh thanks i love it 
um, when I, you know, when I was younger, I first started playing guitar because my sister who was seven years older, my sister, Kathy, she was, uh, uh, into the folk music scene in the sixties and the late sixties and seventies. So as a younger kid, you know, I was like 11 years old and I was listening to music that, you know, the, my 17 year old sister was listening to and, and she, she got a dulcimer. This is a mountain dulcimer. Um, and I built this one a few years back and we built one. We actually, I was just thinking about this the other day. We built one, I think I was in fourth grade or whatever. She got a kit from the mail and she built it. And one of the records that we had was called celebration for a gray day by, um, Richard and Mimi Farina. And they had a bunch of songs he used to play that all summer and she played guitar and sang and they did duets. And uh, this was one of the first songs that I learned. So I'm going to play it, try to play it on dulcimer and sing this song called uh, Pack Up Your Sorrows. Maybe, uh, how's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done you that. can okay. see it. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Okay. No use crying, talking to a stranger, naming the sorrow you've seen. Too many bad times, too many sad times, and nobody knows what you mean. And if somehow you could pack up your sorrows and give them all to me, you would lose them, I know how to use them, give them all to me. No use rambling, walking in the shadows, trailing a wandering star. No one hide you, no one beside you, nobody knows where you are. But if somehow you could pack up your sorrows and give them all to me. You will lose them, I know how to use them, give them all to me. Walking by the roadside, seeking a satisfied mind. Too many highways, too many byways, nobody's walking behind. And if somehow you could pick up your sorrows and give them all to me. You would lose them, I know how to use them, give them all to me. came out no it was good it's nice to see, hear the dulcimer and see it yeah yeah um i wish i could have been singing with you on that i know i love that song <clears throat> yeah me too me too uh well i guess it's my turn now um so um thinking about old folk songs um 
I learned about um, this guy. This next song was written by Cy Khan, who's a songwriter that lives in the South, uh, South Carolina, I think, or North Carolina. And um, I learned about him when I went to the Augusta Heritage Workshops down in Elkins, West Virginia. They have a whole summer program of how to uh, play different instruments, write songs, folk dance, clogging, all this different stuff. And I went down there um, to take a songwriting workshop and, um, and learned about Cy Khan. And I just fell in love with this song. I just really like this song. It has a lot of hope in it. So this is called, and we're going to rise again. And for all you folkies, if you're listening out there, you can be singing along with all these songs. <laughs> Might as well. So this goes like this. I remember the year that my granddaddy died. I'm going to rise again. Dug in on the ridge above this farm Dawn gonna rise again I think of my people that have gone on Dawn gonna rise again I like the tree that Now we didn't plan out the uh, the song list. Uh, this song is kind of uh, the opposite of that one. This is called the Nihilist Blues, <laughs> and uh, and actually we did do this in the Black Turtle Band a long time ago. Uh, my thought was. Um, when I was just doing a blues song, having some fun, I thought, well, you know, what group of people needs a blues song more than the nihilists? You know, it's kind of like 
that's it, you know. <laughs> no, no mansions to sing about, you know. That's too bad. So, <laughs> so I wrote this song just for fun in the key of E called the Nihilist Blues. <laughs> So leave your baggage behind. Once is not twice. Don't bother standing in line. You get a one-way non-stop ticket, baby. With no frequent flyer miles. No carry-on luggage, no second chances. Then you see the Grim Reaper smile. No mansions on high, no flames underground, no reincarnation to make you linger around. No harps, no clouds, no wings, no halos, no devil with a pitchfork scowling at you. No Graham, no Aunt Mary, and forget your pet canary. Well, it's lights out and then you're through. TV and no DVR, and no CNN, no fancy new car, no Home Depot Target, no Best Buy strip malls, no lands and in sight. No bailout packages coming from the Mormons. It's your own wrong from your own right. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, that's funny. I, I was going to uh, play harmonica on that, but now this is something with harmonica players. You always wonder, A, when was the last time you played harmonica, and B, were you sick or not? So whatever germs were circulating in your mouth like a week or two or three or four ago, they're still in the harmonica, right? So like with the COVID thing, mm, I was going to play harmonica, but <laughs> I found my harmonicas and I was like, God, what is in there? So I decided, <laughs> I decided, forget it. I'll just play the guitar. <laughs> you know? Oh God, that's funny. That is really funny. I want to be play blues guitar like you when I grow up, Paul. Uh, I got a ways to go. Well, Thanks, I got a ways to grow grow up too. So you got to wait. <laughs> anyway, well, since you played a blues song, I think I'll play a little blues song. This is a song that was I learned from the Jim Queskin Jug Band. Um, that, that uh, they recorded this album. And so Jim Queskin, Maria Muldar, and Jeff Muldar were all in that band. All those old folk singers that were back there then. And uh, 
Uh, I learned this from their album, and this feels like a summertime song, and so... Well, there are blues that you get from loneliness, and there are blues that you get from women and you haven't got a bathing suit yourself. There are blues you get much quicker when you're drinking lots of liquor and somebody comes and takes it off the shelf. And there are blues you get when everything's in hot. And when your girlfriend doesn't answer when you're not. There are blues you get from getting in a taxi cab and fretting every time you hear the pump and jump and pop. And there are blues you get from trying to keep your Uncle Bill from dying and you afterwards forget you in his will. And there are blues you get much quicker when you walk. Oh, there are blues you get from kisses when you're walking with your missus and another baby shouts, hi Bill. But the blues are gonna make it wanna stop and take a trip And the blues are gonna make it wanna hang it in the river Blues my lord is sweet and gives to me There are blues that you get from loneliness And there are blues that you get from pain And there are blues when you are lonely For your one and only The blues you can never How do you remember all those words? I can't remember anything. Well, I just practice them a hundred million times. <laughs> like Doc Watson said, now you play that 1,000 times. <laughs> well, I guess we got a blues. This is a blues evening going here. I guess so. Um, you know, I've been writing songs for a while. I don't write like I should, or <clears throat> like some people I know really, really work at all the time. Um, so, you know, there have been different times when I've been in different phases with songwriting and um, in the last, I guess I'd say 10 years or so, um, I've been trying to write history songs. History songs are tough to write because um, you have to tell a story and you gotta, it's just, it's, it's hard to do, but in the old days, you know, when I, when I did grow up listening to the folk music and, you know, like Tom Rush would play these old folk songs and <clears throat> he did a song called the Galveston flood. And it was the Galveston flood was in 1900 in Texas in Galveston, Texas. And the reason why I know that is because of the song, you know, otherwise mm. I wouldn't remember. I wouldn't know it. Um, and Gordon Lightfoot did some wonderful songs about uh, history and, those songs always just kind of stuck out in my mind. So I've tried to write songs about local things, local history. And in that sense, it gets preserved in a way that, you know, these days things come and go in less than two minutes, you know, and a song is a way to focus on something and think about something and it makes it stay. It makes the idea stay. And, um, you know, not too long ago, I'd say about five years ago, maybe, um, Century Safe pulled out of uh, East Rochester, and they had about 300 jobs there. There were good paying jobs. And, uh, you know, the Century Safe that you use in your basement or wherever to keep your papers, there's a whole line of Century Safes made right here in Rochester. And um, sure enough, Century Safe was bought out by Master Lock. And it wasn't long before Master Lock bought Century Safe and they left Rochester. 
Um, the story about that was in the paper and I was reading the morning paper and uh, it was kind of like a page two story. When he went to page one in the same paper with this article about Sentry Safe leaving Rochester, there was a task force on poverty being created in Rochester and they were going to look at poverty and what's going on. And um, it just struck me that, you know, page one, we're going to have the task force on poverty. And page two is we've just lost 300 jobs um, gone. And I know Century Safe stayed in Rochester to help out Rochester. They could have gone much sooner, but they stayed. So I wrote a song about that, um, and I call it Century Safe. And uh, I'll give it a try. Here it goes. Sometimes it's hard to do these songs, you know. Wide awake in my kitchen at midnight I'm just waiting for the sun to shine And I'm playing with this Indian nickel Cause I spent my last Roosevelt dime Lost my place on the assembly line I had a dream about the western grasslands the Lakota and the Navajo Black thunder clouds of dust in the distance Rising up from a million buffalo White lightning from the rifles flash below The ancient plains are silent and empty A way of life that used to be well, a man can lose the ground that he walks on, taken by the thief who wants more than he needs. It was sold right out from under his feet. Well, my grandpa used to work in this factory And what he earned he would call his own But now my nickel is another man's dollar What was green is now withered and brown Lost my job, lost my pride, lost my home I just can't make it on this handout in my mailbox I just pass it right back to the man. All that's left are my reservations for my ticket to the promised land. It's an early sort of pension plan. Well, it's right here in the morning paper, a task force on poverty. We just lost 300 jobs in this city. We say we're looking for the truth, but we don't want to see. You just shot my job to get your labor for free. Century Safe was born in 1930. John Brush and Willard Pundit made it so. And now Master Locke is in the saddle And they drove my job to Mexico Like those 40 million buffalo Don't have much use for a safe anymore Our city houses are silent and empty a way of life that used to be Well, a man can lose the ground that he walks on Since sold right out from under our feet So don't act 
surprised if I'm losing my sleep. That's a great song, Paul. That's uh, contemporary for today, right yeah. now. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <clears throat> it really is. Wow. Yeah. That is a really great song. Thank you. Well, um, I guess I'll sing a little story song since that was a story. This isn't really, well, this is actually based on uh, truth. This is a whole true story of something that happened to me. It's not really a historical, but more <laughs> historical. Or hysterical. <laughs> um, and uh, I just want to say, since we're talking about um, money and safes, and if anyone oh. would like to donate to this concert, all the donations are going to go to the Little Theater today. And so if you'd like to donate, you um, go to the website, thelittle.org slash donate, and then you'll be led right to their donation page. You can donate uh, anything from $1 on. So um, please uh, help support the little. We're trying to. And uh, right. if you're watching also from other places you can uh, that aren't in Rochester, you can also stream movies if you'd like. Mm -hmm. um, so that's another thing you could do. Hey, is my shirt say backwards? It says support your local market. No, it, it's it's it says it forward. Okay. Yeah. It support your special. local theater. That's right. Support your local theater, with a big L in the middle. The yeah. little. Yeah. In the middle. In the little. But what a great, th I mean, Rochester. What a great theater to have. You know, it's it just is. great. It's just it makes Rochester really a great place to live. It really is. I'm so yeah. happy to be here. So. Um, uh, I used to work at the Little, so this has a little bit of a story relating to that. Hopefully I can remember all the words. Well, I was getting coffee one sunny summer day. It was early morning and I was on my way to work downtown, not too far young man saw me get out of my car he had a gas can in his left hand and a sling around his right he said could you spare some cash ma'am i've run out of gas and i've got to get to mcc for my morning class i stood there for a moment just to think He had an honest face, so I gave that man a five. And the smile he gave me back made me glad to be alive. And I went to get my coffee, then came back out to my car. When I heard another guy yell out to me, Hey lady, that guy you just gave your money to took off in his car. I guess he didn't need the cash after all. Oh, and then he rammed his motor and he peeled out in his van Like he was mad I gave something to that other man Well, I started getting mad As I drove away I'm just going to work To make an honest pay And I don't think it was his place to say I can do with my dough Whatever I please not the boss of me. Now I work in a theater, I paste up ads all day. At night I shovel popcorn, give tickets away, and I make sure that the people who come to see the show are happy when they come and when they go. And that night in particular, I stayed to help clean up. Which means I sweep the floor and pick up all the dirty cups. And underneath a velvet seat that night, you won't believe, it, was Andrew Jackson staring back at me. Hey, look what I found, you guys. A 
Let's go out after. I never know if that guy got to MCC, but given what you got, sometimes sets you free. The more you give away, the more you shall receive. And a twenty dollar bill suits me just fine. True story. That sounds like a true story. That was fantastic. I haven't heard that one. That's awesome. <laughs> um, I uh, wrote another history song, but um, I guess there's read between the lines. Um, this one is called the Hojack Swing Bridge. And... Um, Back in the 1800s, um, the railroad companies needed to find a way to cross the Genesee River. And there was a guy named Zanus King who came up with this engineering marvel of the day. And he built other swing bridges, but they had the bridge in the middle of the Genesee River and it was parallel to the river. And then when the train would come, the bridge would sing, swing perpendicular and cross the span and the locomotives would go across and, you know, if you've ever tried to do anything engineering wise in your life, it, engineering is a difficult thing to do. Get, getting a train bridge to swing in the middle of a river so that a locomotive can go over, that's pretty good. It's pretty creative. And, and if people remember that swing bridge was in the middle of the river for a long time and the Coast Guard said that thing has got to go. And there was a group of citizens from Rochester, and I've never um, hooked up with them or talked to them yet. There was one guy, I think Frank Margolis was his name. Um, and maybe if somebody knows Frank, they can ask him to watch this, because I've always tried to connect with Frank about this song. And that group in Rochester tried to save the bridge, and it's what they were basically saying was, hey, we have something special here, something creative, something that's lasted a long time. Maybe instead of just destroying it, we could do something to modify it or to save it. And it's a unique part of Rochester. And the Coast Guard wanted it gone. So it was what they did legally, they had to have an open forum. They announced the open forum legally in the want ads. So it got buried in the want ads. For you younger people, you don't even know what the want ads are. But it was something <laughs> that used to be in the paper. Okay. Now there's other methods like Craigslist. But anyway, um, the Coast Guard buried it in the one ads. No one saw it. There was no discussion. It was a power move. I wish I knew the people, their names. I could write a fourth verse about who they are. And, you know, what's with that? Come on. So, uh, so this is a song about the swing bridge, but it's really a song about power. And, um, and it's also about men, too, because, you know, you look at the world and you talk about all the goofy people and all the goofy things going on. Chances are, you know what? It's a man. That's just the way it is, right? So um, men in power, I don't know. I don't want to get too deep into what their issue is. But if you've ever had a deal with a man who's got power issues, you know you've got a real problem on your hands. And uh, so this song speaks to that, really. Um, and I wrote this song a while ago, but it still holds true. <laughs> men haven't gotten much better, if ever. So this is uh, the Hojack Swing Bridge. Well, the Erie Canal was flowing with gold in the summer of 1825. But to get there and back from the Ontario shore took a day and a half wagon ride. So the town had a vision of an east-west rail line and the dream it was finally complete. Cause the men stopped their thinking and they sat down to thinking the victory was had from defeat. Small men in their towers get drunk on their powers, don't care what the folks have to say. Light up the torches and just cut up the steel. They like to do things just their way. Swing bridge from 1905. 
She's a marvel, she's almost alive. Small piece of who we once were was a new way to get from shore to shore. The old Hojack line was run 200 miles from my sweet old Lewiston town. And a low bridge was needed for the Genesee River, but the boats had to pass up and down. So they hired Zanus King to build a bridge that was swing. It was a marvel back in the day. Cause the men stopped their drinking and they sat down to thinking they created a possible way. Small men in their towers to get drunk on their power don't care what the folks have to say. They light up the torches and cut up the steel. They like to do things just their way. A swing bridge from 1905 She's a marvel, she's almost alive. Small piece of who we once were. A new way to cross shore to shore. But by 2012, the whole Jack Swing Bridge stood 107 years about late. Coast Guard decided it was coming on down, but some folks thought that was a mistake. So the Coast Guard put notice in the one ads one day there was no one allowed even to speak. Cause the men they were drinking and they shut down the thinking and they destroyed that bridge in a week. Small men in their towers Get drunk on their powers, don't care what the folks have to say. They light up the torches, cut up the steel, they like to do things just their way. Well, a swing bridge from 1905, she's a marvel, she's almost alive. A small piece of who we once were. New way to cross shore to shore. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That Frank Margolis and that group, I always had the idea of having them get together and somehow sing the chorus of that song, that group. I think it was about 15 or 30 or 40, 50 people maybe. Wow. And so if any of them are out there and you heard that song, maybe I could actually still do it and get them to sing the chorus with me. That would be good. Contact yeah. Paul Switek. You can yes. look him up on Facebook. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, look me up on Facebook and contact me if that anybody from that group you want to finish up that project with me. Yeah, that's that's because you guys, idea. you know, they fought the good fight, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, a good fight. Little, you know, little drunk men in their tower and doing their power thing, right? Could have been yeah. such a cool thing, you know. And the irony of it is, is you know, you had this thing that was creative for the time, and then here when you could have done something creative done the same process you just right. say yeah we're just gonna yeah. destroy it it needs to get out of there that's you know, it that's you know, it like how many boats hit the damn thing zero right? no right <laughs> right bunch of uh don't get me started maria okay i want to change the subject actually okay <laughs> um i wanted to um sing a john prine song since he's yeah, okay. recently left us and uh he was such a great guy and this was one of a uh, great songwriter everything this is one of my um uh, songs that I know of his. So this is called Bruised Orange. My heart's in the ice house, come hill or come valley, like a long ago Sunday. Walk through the alley on a cold winter's morning to the church house to shovel some snow. I heard sirens on the train tracks 
howling naked, getting neuter. An altar boy's been hit by a local commuter. Just walking with his back to the train that was coming so slow. Well, you can't stare out the window with men and get madder. Throw your hands in the air. Say what the Get angry, so help me, I know. For a heart stained in anger grows weak and grows bitter. You become your own prisoner. You watch yourself sit there, wrapped up in the trap of your very own chain of sorrow. Well, I bend down to zero, pulled out. Sat on a park bench, kissed the guy with the black hair. My head hollered down my heart. Better look out below. Well, it ain't such a long drop. Don't stammer, don't stutter. From the Simon diamonds in the sidewalk to the dirt in the gutter. You carry those bruises to remind you. Stare out the window, get mad and get madder. Throw your hands in the air, say what does it matter? Well, it don't do no good to get angry, so help me, I know. For a heart stained in anger grows weak and grows bitter. You become your own prisoner as you watch yourself sit there wrapped up in the trap. Now that song is called Chain of Sorrow, not Bruised Orange. It's from the album Bruised Orange. Uh huh. So, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I, I'll, I, I was going to say, I was thinking about when you talk about John Prine leaving, I was thinking about Jack Gardner, who uh, oh. was a local writer and supporter of the arts and the little theater and, uh, you know, even just kind of dedicating this to him, I guess. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. What he a great job. Such a great man. Great man. So if you want to support the Little Theater, yeah. uh, the little dot org slash donate. And please, please be generous. Um, uh, the Little can use all the support they can get. So. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do, I think this might be my last song. I'm going to try to do a song on the banjo. Uh, see, I hope it comes out. This song called... It. Yeah, this song is called Caitlin's Song. I'm not going to say her last name, but I met Caitlin at a folk festival. Her dad was playing at the folk festival, so I think Maria knows who she is. Now she works in the health field, helping with uh, combat coronavirus. She's not 10 years old anymore. <laughs> not at all. But it's called Caitlin's Song, so I want to dedicate this to her and all the people uh, doing the work that they're doing here in Rochester. Thank you so much.
Ah, that's beautiful. Yeah, I miss Caitlin loves that song. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I play that with the uh, Cubics Rubes. I've been playing. I thought with, uh, I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah, with the with the Rubes or Bluegrass Band, and we've been playing around Rochester. We played the Angry Goat, and well, we used to play there Tuesday nights. We'll see what's going to happen, but uh, it's been a great play, way to play bluegrass with some local people who are just great. Oh, really and great, I, really great musicians in that. Yeah, band. I've enjoyed that so much. I, thanks to the uh, Rubes, we call them the Rubes. The I'm Rubes. Rube. <laughs> that's excellent yeah, yeah so when people are booing you. us we just sing oh, oh they're just saying rubes rubes <laughs> that's really good so then all your fans can go rubes 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 <laughs> play another one play all night <laughs> free bird <laughs> So I guess uh, we're running out of time. So uh, maybe I'll sing one more and we'll yep. end it there. Yeah, awesome. I just wanted to end with this once you uh, thanked our healthcare workers and everyone else. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a crazy time. And um, this is a song I wrote a couple years ago uh, called We Are the Peacekeepers. And um, it's a really good sing along if you're home and you want to sing along with it. Um, it's a cappella, and it goes like this. We are the peacekeepers, setting things right. We are the peacekeepers, spreading light. We are the peacekeepers, with the spirit of a lone white dove. We are the peacekeepers, spreading love. Hate does not drown out hate. Only love creates the light that can drive out the shadow of despair. It's got to start with all of us everywhere. Cause we are the peacekeepers setting things right we are the peacekeepers spreading light we are the peacekeepers with the spirit of a lone white dove we are the peacekeepers spreading love with all this bloodshed in the streets We've got to teach our friends and children to speak the language of love that says we are more the same than we are different, no matter what our color or our name. And we are the peacekeepers setting things right we are the peacekeepers spreading light we are the peacekeepers with the spirit of a lone white dove we are the peacekeepers spreading love we are the peacekeepers spreading love Awesome. Keep fighting the good fight out there, Paul. Yeah. yeah, everybody, all of us. So thank you, everyone, again for listening. The little dot org. I'll be here again next week with another guest, uh, my good friend Johanna Reynolds, who's a songwriter and um, piano player, lives in the Finger Lakes, and uh, so please come by for that. And thank you so much, Paul. For thank you, thank you for having me, Maria. This is great. Oh, you're so welcome. All right, well. Bye. So say bye, Paul. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Have a great bye. night. Thank you.